You have entered the Chronic's rabbit hole, and Nightwish Army, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kyle. I'm Alana. And we are back with the Wembley 2015 song by song reaction. This is taking a while to get back to it, but we got Alana here today with us, and we are doing the song Ghost Love Score. I'm so excited to be back at Wembley 2015, and Ghost Love Score is one of our favorites, so let's get into it. Nightwish Army, we are finally here. I'm really excited because I just put out a YouTube community post about our four favorite albums. And actually, once is winning and probably is going to win the vote by like 40% out of 100. That's crazy. Which is crazy. And a lot of amazing songs are on there, including Ghost Love Score. Yeah. So that's obviously Taria here. The first time I heard Ghost Love Score was with Flora Valken. Yeah. And that's when we first heard this song like a year and a half ago now or something. Yeah. Our journey's been going this long. So the patience that you guys have shown for this reaction moving forward, thank you so much. We're finally here. Ghost Love Score. You ready, honey? I'm ready. I can't believe it's been like a year and a half. I had to think about that for a second. I'm like, wow. Since the Vulcan one, at this least. Is, since the Vulcan one. That brings us full circle now with this channel, and that is absolutely amazing. I'm so excited we're back here with Wembley. If you guys are as excited that we're here as well and that we're returning with Ghost Love Score, remember to like this video, comment down below how long you have been a part of the Chronicans and what brought you yes. into Nightwish the very first time. Love to hear your guys' story. And if you are enjoying this, remember to subscribe so that you never miss another video coming down the rabbit hole. Okay, here we go, y'all. Boom! Yeah. Empu was slaying on that one. He did slay, <laughs> absolutely. I made sure not to listen to this song for a long time. Just making sure. So good, eh? Whoa. Nice with high on the drum for this. It is. So smooth. That bass is coming in so smooth. Hi! <laughs>
Oh man. So glorious. And I think on this one, obviously it's a different drummer from Yuka from Valken. And I'm actually, mm. so that's why I was pinpointing how the drum fills were going to be just a slight different and all that. Slightly different drum fills, <laughs> even though it is the same song, has that different kind of energy. Um, so it feels almost a bit more reserved right now. Is it just yeah. me? Like even Flora, like she feels like she's like holding it a tiny bit more back, which is almost making me a bit more and the anticipation on, is anticipation, building. yeah because when she explodes it's gonna be even more and like also yes. just it's so cool how every time you hear a song live from nightwish it always feels a little There's different something a little different about it and i love that um actually marco's bass came through so clearly yes, in with uh wembley and i know when you guys um had told us to do this concert it was because the audio quality on it was so good was, yeah the best and like i you can hear it absolutely mm -hmm. especially now that it's been over a year and a half that we've been um going was the last time you heard this song Oh, it's been a while yeah, since I've heard months, this one. Or... Easily a couple awesome. months. Yeah, same for me because I've been holding off of this one. And you guys all did the polls. We're doing these songs one song per video. And mm. for Dice Brand, we're going to do the last three songs of one video. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. Now we'll, let's go in. She even looks softer. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like so much patience. From the deep came to me, saying, My name, my love is still I write my songs about that dream of mine. Oh, is she like layered? Yeah, I think there's like a background choir. Oh, uh, snap. Single <laughs> candle. That's cool, a singled out one. I love that part. I think that's my favorite part. <laughs> the little nuances. So Disney like. Mm -hmm. Ooh.
Here we go. Oh my gosh. The floor stage control. Oh my gosh! Yes! Oh my god, she looks so epic! So this song oh, man, what a ride. Talk oh snap okay so we know what's coming next y'all oh, that is God. next time we're not ready for that ride yet after this ride so what i was about to say and I'm, i don't mean this in a controversial way we came in late to the game with nightwish so at least the first time i heard goes love score it was with floor so this song i'm just used to my foundation is with floor on this song mm -hmm. so with that said it also felt so different and so great tari obviously does a great job too and mm -hmm. all you guys agree too because of the poll so this is 
they do so amazing and even just every single performance of it is so different and at the very end there they all had like a moment to really shine even like marco hat came in with that crazy bass that line that crazy bass right line. and they just kept like adding to it just like another firework and it just kept exploding and then you could see just floors never looked so epic <laughs> she looked absolutely like floating <laughs> like floating she was like uh the the goddess of darkness yeah. like up there especially with the fire coming in behind her absolutely. um i loved how many layers like i absolutely love how many layers the song has and i forgot how long it was because it's been a while since i've heard that's this fair song. yeah you gotta have patience and for this you one. have to have patience for it yes but i definitely remembered the uh the tr the uh brass section that came in like when that candle was up and they had all those different moments that played through yeah because there are so many little memorable, intricate things that Tuamas has put into this music. Oh, totally. This and one's a masterpiece. Yo. It's an absolute masterpiece. And I love what vo what um, Floor did with her vocals. Because at the beginning, she was more reserved, which is something that you had brought out. Yeah, I noticed that. That she seemed more reserved. But then when she went off, <laughs> she really That's went off. That's what I off. mean. And like with a it helped with, with the contrast. It did. It opinion. really helped with the contrast. She went a little bit more rocky at times, yeah. where the song doesn't typically go that rocky. And then she gave these little like flutters. I don't know the actual word for it, so forgive me. But with her voice between notes, doing that flutter, so it was like where a you can feel the drop in the raise, the drop in the rise, yeah. and then going up that extra step. And the Tuamo Miss had to come over and like congratulate her on like how Empu gave her the Empu. Sorry, yeah, yeah. forgive yeah. me. Yeah. Um, but yeah, absolutely. Someone has yeah. to do. And and someone point, had to because of just where Marco he went with at that. At the end, where he like talks, like that was yeah. poor in case you didn't know. <laughs> like, oh my god! So like, she has done so much with this song, and I absolutely loved this it, performance specifically because of how much she pushed herself within this. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. And this song itself, I think, is the song that changed my musical taste the most out of Absolutely. anything because i started with dark chest of wonders then we went through and kind of continued with the the Valken concert and a lot of it was kind of the more rocky stuff and then mm -hmm. when it get, came to this you need the patience and i know early on at first i was like i don't this isn't one of my favorites but then it became my favorite Absolutely. after i started learning more about just like being a bit more patient and you don't need all those solos and those heavy moments to have a the memorable crazy progressive part yeah so it really like changed my outlook on music itself which is why mm. ghost love score is such a monumental song for for me itself but i think i wish it felt louder for some reason this was a quiet it was quiet i think it was the youtube video because you actually did go and check to make sure the computer was fully yeah turned and, and any time you do that before a reaction when you have to think you need more volume for some reason that always and you wish you didn't think that before going into a yeah. reaction because like if you want it louder and you can't then you want it to be satisfied a bit more and that's why i think at first i was so focused on why i thought it sounded more stripped mm -hmm. but then it it sure exploded at the end it, it looked like she was sure hovering like did. ring goblin i thought she was on a hoverboard <laughs> <laughs> absolutely it sure did it um but yeah it felt it was a little bit quiet maybe that's because i'm just so deaf from being at work with the loud music and everything there but it was it was definitely a bit quieter for me and i i do wish that it was a bit louder um but this was the music quality however was oh, yeah. top here absolutely so and I it really, was crisp and it was crisp yeah it definitely. was very crisp so i'm really happy that even though it wasn't as loud it was more crisp than a lot of the uh videos that we have heard in the past yeah so that you're able to pull out a lot of those more little intricacies and even like hear the uh choir back uh backing vocals um that yeah they you had can hear the, that more in this you one you could hear it a lot more where in other ones yeah. um it it was it's a not as noticeable so like there is a lot of fantastic aspects to this recording specifically yeah and i, I always just love how tawamas doesn't want the shine while performing it mm -hmm. seems he always just seems so reserved and it like 
You don't hear m many things where I wish Tawamas would talk more during the show is more, I guess, what I mean. Yeah. Because, it, like, he's such the mind behind it. I wish he got to interact with the during. strong, silent type I know. who writes the whole thing. But it, it's <laughs> awesome. So thank you all so much. We know what the next song is because it kind of started at the very end there. So if you're ready for that ride, definitely subscribe to not miss it because it's coming real soon. If you're definitely here for the premiere as well, just stay tuned because it's coming right after it. But if you're here on your own time, thank you so much for being here and if you somehow have not gone to nightwish's channel yet definitely subscribe because they got good stuff coming this year that's for sure all right everyone we are now exiting the rabbit hole folks thank you so much nightwish army for being here with us thank you so much chronicans peace and love god bless y'all take care and bye for now don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more enter the chronicness Special thanks to all of our YouTube, Patreon, and Buy Me A Coffee members. Thank you for all of your support. Thank you so much for making it all the way to the very end of the video. And if you have not yet done this, here's an easy way to subscribe to our channel. And if you want to subscribe to the artists that you just heard, here's an easy way to do that as well. And if you are also interested in finding a video that you might like, just click here. Thank you so much for coming to the channel. Peace and love, everyone. God bless y'all. Take care. Bye for now.